Apparently, Nasir Sam was a very big fan of Sarah's much poetry. He was generally a very big fan of poetry. He was absolutely the storytelling father, a very indulgent father. But I think that's what he wanted you to do. I don't think Nasir Sam wanted you to have an intellectual discussion about his films. He just wanted to give you a good time. For about 20, 25 years, the man did not see a flop, he didn't see a failure. The way he brought the best out of me, that was his quality. People should remember. So he told me I don't think उनके बराबरी का कोई था I think uh, one of the spectacular things about Nasir Saab is excellent ear for music. Uh, this was something which I, you know, had went over repeatedly with Uzzad, Mansoor, Amir that, you know, how do you explain this man who, again, you know, and this is true even of his later films. We, we heard of the guy in Bombay when we did the launch in Mumbai, where a, a gentleman stood up in the audience and he said, even Manzil Manzil and Zabardas, which didn't do well, the music is so good. So we're talking about someone who then from 57 to 85, 28 years, is these chart busting tracks in his films. So his, he was very deeply rooted in Indian music, in, in, uh, in Urdu poetry, in, in classical music, classical singers. But what we know of him, he, we don't remember him ever playing that in the house. It was always the most Western, the most modern, the, the, the most wonderful music that he could lay his hands on. And he used to play that for us and for himself, of course, every evening. So, Beatles, who. You know, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley, who. Jodi. Uh, and through the uh, generations. Also, he, he's the one who brought. Uh, those uh, records that then you started listening. Yeah, so uh, when he would go abroad, uh, he would uh, try and pick up uh, like the cutting edge uh, bands and stuff like that. I mean, the bands that uh, some youngsters today may not know, but in the 70s and 80s, uh, groups like Pink Floyd, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, that's ELP. Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Woody Blues. Woody Blues, you know, um, he picked up that album and I kind of you know, uh, built a taste for it, you know. So, uh, his, this one aspiration of his was to move to the next step and stay in, in tune with the times. I saw the stars dance that he introduced to the Indian cinema. The kind of music he introduced and the kind of what must be. Pahle shooting the studio me ko thi thi. Unhone pahado pe ja ke Kashmir me, Darjeeling me, wahan ja ke Hindustan ke wo log jo Kashmir aur Darjeeling nahi ja sakte, unhe unki sair karte. Each of us has our own uh, personality, each of us has our own style, each of us has a different 
instincts within us. So I think Bimanda was making great films, so was Guruga, which were very different from what Trijan was doing. And I understand why uh, people as in an audience don't look at Trijan's films from an intellectual point of view. They look at it more from, uh, you know, to have fun. But I think that's what he wanted you. I don't think Nasir Sahib wanted you to have an intellectual discussion about his films. He just wanted to give you a good time. Hello, Dandheer Singh. Perhaps the most underappreciated aspect of Nasrul Sen's cinema is his dialogue writing. And the violence that is uh, uh, supposed to be an intimid uh, intimidating phone call which Dalip Tahil makes. There is no Kutta, Kabina or any kind of violence in the language. But yet, that warning that I am the same Dhanraj who was 14 years ago is so menacing that you know that if you don't follow my uh, instruction, things will turn violent. And I think there's, this is perhaps the most underappreciated part of Nasir Hussain's versatility. Okay, brother. I'm very happy to meet you with you. And that would be the parting line for us. Let's go, brother. So, till today, I use that line.